Hey guys, it's a Sunday. It's time to work on my side project, My Responder. And today I've sort of like cleaning it up, making sure that you can get started with it and ho hopefully help your community with a, a simple alert system. So now everything is configured in a simple one configuration file, an environment file. And I've just set it up here with like a like a test domain, browserinabox.com, doesn't mean anything. I set it up with some with a test username and password. And this is the username and password for, for the management, not the users. Uh, I'll explain that later. And I've also ex um, set up uh, uh, Amazon SES for this for this particular dom domain. And instead of using Nexmo now, I just use Amazon. So all you need to get going really is um, Amazon. So get an Amazon account because I'm using Amazon to send the emails and to send the SMSs. And obviously you can um, you can host on Amazon itself. So let's get started. I I did a make start. Everything's controlled by this make file. And uh, it's running in Docker. And well, this is this is what it looks like when you first start it. And the idea is that you have my uh, responders and you have homeowners and you have a management interface. So let's quickly look at the management interface. There should be nothing there. Okay, let's, so let's pretend I'm a homeowner. So IC stands for like your identification number, which is something you identify people with in Malaysia. So I'm just gonna go for like uh, 8787 or something, whatever. And my name is uh, Mr. Homeowner. Email, we can just leave blank or just use my one. Uh, test. Uh, what is this one supposed to be? This is the address. So let's go 10 Trafford Avenue. And this is the, your, your telephone number, which doesn't actually get used uh, except by the response. Let's just go. Okay, so. The homeowner now is registered and um, this URL is something that they that uh, they should bookmark so um, let's, just, let's just leave there for now and as you can see on the management thing the the homeowner details are popped up but they're not activated until this this check mark is done it's a similar story for the the guard, the 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 responder, the my responder. So let's let's go. The responder uh, ID is you know four one four one four one, um, um, Bob the guard or something. And the phone number. Let's just use my phone number. And clock in. Okay, so. As you may have noticed, no username and passwords. Just. Um, a form and um, if if the if the guy actually forgets his password the, the his browser should should uh, remember the session so if I just grab part of the URL here and go here see he's he he's already logged in because it sets a cookie and um, if for some reason that cookie is lost or the sessions lost then it's up to management to, to sort of clock him out Okay, so uh, management now should see Bob and um, and Mr. Homeowner. So the idea is that the this um, this this thing here is is saved as a bookmark, or it could actually be connected as a webhook to this thing. But let's just first do a test uh, alert. So all I do is refresh. The, I'm just pretending. I'm, I'm going to um, just refresh this page. And basically refreshing this page triggers an alert, alert. This get request triggers an alert. So alerting Bob. And it should now it should just notify me on my, my phone. As you can see that. It worked. It worked. Um, so now the guards in Malaysia... Um, typically only have like a dumb phone. I don't know how to explain it. And 
now th they get they get this alert. The responders get this alert on by by SMS, and then they can see um, the number and the um, the name of the of the um, resident and the time and the and the address. So the idea is now the res responder goes around to that person's house and checks on that person. That's that's the that's the system right there. I mean, th there's nothing more to it. There's no, uh, there's no real follow up. All the other stuff is kind of manual at this point. So back to the management interface, you can now see there was uh, uh, an alert, uh, an alert, and and Bob, uh, the guard, you can see which which guard was alerted. So the idea is that like you know there there might be um, some people on on duty and other people not on duty so but in practice uh, we found that uh, that that uh, everyone's just armed um, until they just don't want to be armed so that we, we, we're not going in clock cycles I initially designed it so that we can actually keep track of how many hours people are actually on duty but anyway that feature aside which is not used so that's it, and then and then once once an alert is raised, you may have noticed that the arm the arming goes off. So the idea is that management um, have to manually arm the person again because it's very easy to to obviously refresh, 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 trigger alert, uh, trigger alert, trigger alert, trigger alert. And we don't want that to happen. We want to have follow up. We want to make sure that we're not wasting people's time. So the idea is that there is like, um, in Malaysia, there's like a security committee, uh, two people, three people, which can, which can uh, make sure that, uh, to verify, because another point of this thing is anyone can sign up because I didn't want to have username and passwords to, to block anyone's uh, progress. Anyone can sign up. So there must be a management component to arm people and to verify things are done. So, I've just armed this again, and I just wanted to show that I can use this particle to raise an alert now, because all the alert, the way the alert is triggered is a simple get request. So let's just do that quickly. I am going to do a webhook, and maybe I should have done this before. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Okay, um, I think it's just like button one or something. Okay, so the alert itself is um, this URL. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, I just wanted to point out that that there is emails getting sent for for events, so people can easily see what the hell's going on. Okay, so the URL goes in there. It's a it's actually a get request. And uh, what else should I put in here? I device any. Uh, I think that should work. Your integration was successful. Okay, I actually forgot what, what which one's button one. See these buttons and oh here, this is button one. So now if I trigger this. By pressing the button, I should get an SMS here. Did that work? So this thing, this button needs to have power, but otherwise it's got it's got a Wi-Fi chip in there. So obviously, if it's being deployed into someone's home, the person needs to be within Wi-Fi range or some internet. And the good thing is that if it's blinking, like if it's pulsing blue there, then we know it's working. So let's see. Uh, let's see what happened there. Button two, button three, button one. Hook sent. Okay, I'm just. Uh, waiting. Okay, it's gone off, so, oh, okay, sorry. 
the the alert just came in and and sorry it was it didn't it didn't alert because I had the had it originally opened. Okay, so yes, I um. So I what have I shown you? I've shown you how my responder works, guys. I've shown you how you can integrate it with the with the internet button. I show you how you can get SMSs and emails. Um, another interesting part of this, I mean, if I just trigger it now with, without it being armed, I'm just pressing that a couple of times, and the idea is that you have these false alarms, right? So a false alarm is just like a way of testing, and they don't actually send SMSs out to people. So I think that gives you a big overview of my responder. Very, very simple way of SMSing people. It's open source. I would love to see you guys use it, contribute to it. Do what you like to do, and hopefully, um, the big goal for me is that it will improve security in um, in in this um, Malaysian neighborhood where my mother-in-law comes from, um, and um, it can be used in South Africa. You can be used in a whole bunch of other places where where where, where there's like a neighborhood neighborhood watch scheme, and this system allows you to easily. Um, Raise raise alerts. Um, you know, save the bookmark to your home screen, like I've done here, and just get get the guards or the responders in the community a little bit better organized. And obviously, there's there's some logging going on. You can see who's on duty, who's not on duty, when they're clocked in, when they're clocked out, and and, and itemized uh, details of the alert, who got the alert, <coughs> who raised the alert, times, all that other stuff. It's very simple. But at the same time, I think it, it gives a good start to to organizing um, organizing a community around little incidents and hopefully making the whole community safer and all the rest of it. Thank you for watching. Sorry this went on for a while. I hope you found that really interesting. Bye.